What's up everybody, it's Chad. We're getting the uh, Sunday vlog started with the Volkswagen Atlas. Got the wife in the car. We uh, just stopped at the gas station. We're heading to Bowman's Island today for a good time. We're gonna do an oyster roast out there. It's called Oysters for Autism. And uh, so our Volkswagen store is sponsoring that event today. And we're gonna have the Atlas parked out there looking absolutely gorgeous at the Bowman's Island restaurant. And then stay with us, because we're gonna eat some oysters and see how all that goes today. So we're gonna have a great time. And while we're uh, doing this today, we'll also do a, a review of the Atlas S model with 2.0 liter turbo. So stay tuned. We got the car up front looking great, right behind where the oyster roast is going on. And I tell you, there's a lot of people eating oysters right now here at Bones Island. And you know, you can't beat fresh oysters right off the coast here in Charleston. So that's pretty nice. Uh, Bowman's Island, for some of y'all aren't familiar, maybe watching the video right now, you live in a different state or different area of town. Uh, it's right outside of uh, Folly Beach, which is one of the, uh, you know, it's America's Beach, right? Right here in South Carolina. So Folly Beach, then you got Bowman's Island Restaurant, literally right before you go over the bridge to go into Folly Beach. So pretty sweet. Let's go ahead real quickly before the sun goes down anymore here and gets dark. Let's go ahead and take a look at the 2018 Volkswagen Atlas S 2.0 liter turbo. All right, so the 2.0 liter turbo Atlas is our four cylinder version in this vehicle. A lot of your Atlases on the highway nowadays are gonna come with a V6 engine. Not this one here. And let me tell you folks one thing. Volkswagen has beefed up the engine on this 2.0 liter turbo and you're getting a lot of horsepower, a lot of torque. I mean, it's plenty of power to get the job done on the highway and still get over 30 mile per gallon on the highway. So that's always a plus. Also, you're getting the LED front headlights on this car, which are extremely nice. And again, they brighten up the road so bright at nighttime when you're trying to truck down the road and get the job done or do whatever you gotta do. Maybe you're out here on the beaches or whatever's going on. This vehicle is perfect for a active lifestyle person, okay? So that's one thing to take in consideration. An active lifestyle, this is it right here, the Volkswagen Atlas. It's big, it's got a lot of room, it sits up nice off the ground. Let's take a look at the rear end. Beautiful vehicle, again. You got dual exhaust in the back. Again, a very nice height off the ground. Also comes the standard with a backup camera. Now your S model will have cloth interior, but one thing that's nice on the Atlas, every single one of them is gonna come standard with third row seats, okay? So take a look at this. You got third rows right there, second rows, second rows fold down nice and flat. I mean, if you need to move things or go get anything big from the store, you can lay all these seats down nice and flat to be able to get exactly what you need in here. And even with the third rows down and the second row up, still a ton of space. And even with the third row up, you got a lot of leg room in the back of this car. So that's, that's something to think about, okay? A lot of your third row seat or midsize SUVs just don't have a lot of room in the back. And that's what Volkswagen brings to the table with the Atlas is space. All right, so there you have that. Let's take a look at the interior real quickly. And, uh, and then we're gonna go eat some oysters and all that kind of thing and, uh, and have a little fun. So of course, the interior on the Atlas on the S model is cloth interior seating. And as you can see right there, very nice looking seat to be honest with you. I mean, I love how they got the pattern right here. It's actually very comfortable. You know, it's a very comfy vehicle. And also another nice thing, when you're traveling and riding on the roads, this armrest here is nice and big and it's actually nice and soft, okay? So that's definitely helpful. You can get your big Yeti cup right in there. You got electronic park brake, even on an S model. You got a, a, a nice display screen there. Not the biggest display screen that the Atlas offers, but still has it, and it's not some tiny little screen inside the car. 
Um, there's your steering wheel, you got cruise control, audio functions, all that good stuff there. Another screen right through the middle. So a lot of space, a lot of headroom. This one doesn't have the uh, panoramic glass sunroof, but you can get it with that if you need it. Let's take a quick look in the back seats. See exactly what's going on back there. Let's take our jacket out for a minute. So as you can see, one nice thing about the rear of the Atlas is those vents right there, okay? Take a look. Pretty sweet, okay? Keep everybody nice and cool. Keep them nice and warm in the back. Again, these seats can have, uh, they got bars under here where you can pull on them and make that seat move to give the third row passenger more space. Like we said earlier, look at that. Look how that opens up just like that. Pushes forward. And that is a massive opening there to get to the third row seat. So that's a plus, okay? Again, when you got third row seats, you want a good size opening there for if an adult needs to get in the back, they got a lot of room and the kids got a lot of space too. And it's pretty easy to move that thing around, just go like that. If you want to drop this down and make it nice and flat, you have this right here, okay? And then when that seat's not all the way back, of course it will lay down flat. But I'm a little taller, so my seat's up a little more. Let's see if we can do this. Yeah, you can't do that, so you got to move that seat up in order to lay it flat but if you're hauling something and gotta get something big in here you don't mind doing that right now we won't do all that right this second but again plenty of room in the back of the atlas and i like how these recline a little bit let me show you how that does this goes that way to go forward or this way well <laughs> this one down here is so you can recline See what I'm talking about? Now you can recline that back seat and really relax in there and enjoy yourself. All right, everybody, so final thoughts on the Atlas S. Great vehicle, um, plenty of room on the inside, and it's got a price tag that everybody can afford, around $31,000 for a 2018 Atlas S 2.0 liter turbo. It gets 25, 26 is what's on there for the mile per gallon on the highway, which isn't bad, you know, if you don't have a lead foot, you can get 30 plus miles per gallon out of a full size SUV like that with VW. So again, you're starting to see the change happening with Volkswagen and they're starting to bring SUVs that Americans want to drive. And uh, yeah, so it's really kind of an Americanized German vehicle, if that makes any sense at all. Again, it's probably the most American Volkswagen ever built, right? So there you go. Let's take one more look at it. Yes, Lisa bought us tickets. And like I say, it looks great out here at Bowman's Island. Looks great on the highways, looks great in the city, looks great in your driveway, in your garage, wherever it's at, the Atlas looks great. There you go. All right, stay tuned. We're gonna eat some oysters and have a little fun, and I gotta go find my wife. She's uh, somewhere out here, but don't know where she's exactly at. I think she's hiding from me while I'm filming and vlogging, right? So, anyways, all right, as you can see, there's a lot of uh, aphrodisiac going on out here today. So some of the ladies and guys, when they get home tonight, will have a good time with their loved one. But as you can see, they did a great job out here tonight. We got a bunch of people. There's somebody rocking a Hendrick shirt. We're stoked. We don't uh, play with the Hendrick guys. But uh, anyways, they got this right here to cook a little something. something. Let's find the wifey, right? I always like to rag on the Hendrick guys if I see them somewhere. Again, they are at a Stokes Volkswagen event. Stokes Automotive rocks, okay? Locally owned and operated. That's what it's all about. All right, everybody, just got done talking with some folks about the Atlas. You know, uh, the man and his wife said, look, we've been Chevy Tahoe drivers for a while now. She said, we didn't even know Volkswagen offered a vehicle like this until tonight. So, you know, that's the importance. If you work in a car dealership somewhere in the United States and you're watching this video right now, that is the importance of your dealership getting out there I'm doing events. If you sponsor an event and it costs twenty-five to three thousand dollars to sponsor it, but there's going to be three to five hundred people like out here tonight, it's well worth every penny to do that because, as you can see, we're opening up people's eyes to what Volkswagen has to offer with a full-size SUV. With that being said, if the dealership sells a few SUVs or a few cars out of an event like this, they make their cash back that they donated to a good cause and a little extra. Okay, so that's always a positive thing to get involved. And again, show people the cars and things like that. 